Here we can see a thrombus in a lower pulmonary artery, and the uh, lung beyond the occluded artery appears uh, normal. In this specimen, we can see a pulmonary artery uh, uh, completely occluded by a large uh, thrombus, uh, and we note uh, the presence uh, of hemorrhagic necrosis. The lung is uh, black. Note uh, to your left uh, that on close inspection, the thrombus uh, in the pulmonary artery has uh, notches, which means uh, that it arose uh, uh, from veins of the lower extremities uh, because the notches correspond to the valves uh, of the veins of the lower extremity. By uh, observing the outline of the thrombus, uh, we can suspect uh, its uh, origin in uh, purple veins. Note on this patient, patient wedged, wedged uh, hemorrhagic, hemorrhagic uh, necrosis, necrosis uh, that is in infarct, infarct, uh, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that is uh, seen uh, uh, outlined, outlined uh, by, by the diaphragmatic and, and uh, postal pleura. This, this is another patient with a pulmonary infarct. infarct. Uh, note note that, uh, that the volume of this segment uh, is uh, reduced uh, uh, because of the indentation that is seen at the junction of the infarcted area with the uh, normal lung. Uh, note uh, that uh, it has a triangular shape uh, and the apex uh, is uh, at the costal diaphragmatic uh, angle. The base is towards uh, the hylus. The inflation of a lung with a pulmonary infarct uh, shows that at the site uh, of the infarct, uh, uh, there is an indentation of the surface of the lung. In other words, air does not reach uh, this uh, portion of the lung. 